Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, have kind of a mediocre solar day going on today. And I wanted to give you a couple of updates on the last couple of systems I've been reviewing and testing. So I'll show you around. So right here is a couple of different strings that I'm uh, running right now. I have one, two, three, those three panels tied in series uh, hooked up to that Power Queen battery and it's been running a refrigerator for the past week and then these last two are a separate string going into that charging wall so I've just got them out here uh, for these experiments I've been running uh, this isn't a permanent permanent installation here but it's working great for uh, what I want to show you guys and I run each string uh, this is one of the strings. This is for that uh, three panel series. One of these pass through glands that I really like. Keeps everything out. Passing it through into the uh, connects from right in here goes in and connects to the uh, isolator switch. And then further down the wall I've got this one going in to that charging wall. And what I wanted to really show you is we're back to running this refrigerator and freezer on this particular test that I've been doing for the past week. Uh, this thing is extremely efficient, has that inverter compressor uh, style of, I don't exactly know how it all works, but I know it works well and it works extremely efficiently. This thing draws about 50 to 70 watts of power when it's on. And it doesn't have to run that much to keep everything uh, completely frozen and cold. And that's a ref full refrigerator. Been running this experiment for the past week on. And here is that Power Queen 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour uh, plus lithium iron phosphate battery that we've been running that refrigerator on for the past week. And if you've watched the previous videos, you know that I've got uh, this particular system uh, running that. I've got the Victron 130 amp smart charge controller. Here's where those uh, solar panels are coming through that pass through on the outside to the isolator switch. Uh, this particular inverter I've been using quite a bit in a lot of experiments. I haven't seen it available lately. I see a 48 volt model available now but uh, this is the 12 volt 1500 watt pure sine wave um, i don't know if it's going to be back around or not i look periodically but i haven't seen it so i don't know if it's been discontinued or what but it still works very well so you can see here on my meter i have 1.3 watts coming off of that refrigerator right now that's the draw which is probably mostly just this being on, the inverter being on. So the refrigerator is not running at the moment. Uh, it'll probably kick on here pretty quick. But I wanted to show you, uh, right now that battery is sitting at 51.4% charge. It has 155 watts coming in off that 300 watt string. And then I wanted to show you how it's been doing for the past week. Really like this uh, app of being able to go back and see. Now, uh, these here where it was getting into float, this was from a previous experiment. But in the past week, these white lines here are what I've been doing every single day uh, running this refrigerator. So, as you can see, the sun is different every day. This lower well, it started off 660 watt hours, next day 410 watt hours, and then the last few days it's been getting up over a thousand uh, kilowatt hours, 1.1, 1.02, 1.32. .1 and then today has been kind of a slower day. So far only 280 watt hours. But I've been getting up to about, oh, 
uh, 60% every day. That's running the refrigerator uh, all day long and then overnight and at night it's a down to about 40 percent and then i get up to 50 60 percent 70 percent uh throughout the day so uh as a simple experiment it's worked very well this one 200 amp hour battery has been running that 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer and as you can see not even in the greatest of solar conditions, but it's it's done fine. I've had to do no supplemental charging to that battery to keep the that refrigerator running for the past week. And if I would have been having ideal uh, sun, then it would even be that much better. But I haven't had to do a single thing to it. And the, the lowest I think I've ever seen was down to maybe 38%. Uh, one of these mornings, I don't remember which, but there it is in great detail. Uh, my battery voltage uh, throughout the week have got it up to 13.8, 13.7, 13.7, 13.7, 13 just shy of 13.7, and so far today the highest I've seen is 13.63. So for the lithium profile, uh, this battery is working just absolutely fine within its parameters with 300 watts of solar coming in to and the only thing I have been running off of this system for that past the past week has been that uh, refrigerator and freezer so I'm pretty happy about that uh, that's not what I normally run the uh, the refrigerator off of but I wanted to do this experiment to, to show just what one particular 200 amp hour battery is capable of running in your house for backup or for off-grid situations like myself so uh, i'm extremely happy with that i expect to have some better solar conditions actually throughout the summer but even in these days that have not been the, the absolute best uh it's been running this fine and so those of you that live in a much sunnier uh, condition than i do out here uh yeah really 300 watts of solar one battery and it's running a 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. So uh, I'm really, really just super pleased about this. The battery has held up good. I have not, like I've seen in uh, my previous experiment with, with that Red Odo battery, I've never seen a, uh, a voltage spike throughout any of the history of this thing at all. And and it, it's uh, set on the preset lithium uh, settings that this was actually going on the Victron preset lithium iron phosphate at 14.2 uh, for the bulk and then down to 13.5. So uh, on all these days for the past month previous to the experiment I'm talking about, you, you can see it was getting up into float every single day, every single day. But I was only cycling about uh, 350 to 400 watt hours a day for my usages back here in the shop on another experiment. So doing fine, but under those parameters, I never did see the voltage spike. So yeah, one battery, three panels, super simple system running that refrigerator. So that's, that's food for thought for a lot of you that are wondering what can a a battery do with a minimal amount of solar going in. It's keeping right up. Uh, and this is like the ambient temperature. You know, I'm sitting at 78 degrees in here. Pretty much a typical day. Refrigerator's full. For those of you that are wondering, it's an operating refrigerator freezer, completely packed full of food. So yeah, pretty happy about that. And I just love being able to go back and see this. Shows me exactly what I'm using. Those of you that are using these type of products, you understand what I'm talking about. And those of you that might be new to this, yeah, I hope you enjoy the content. All right. And I hope all of you are having a great day. And I appreciate all your comments, feedback along the way helps me a lot and I know it helps a lot of other people too. I keep getting a lot of comments of 
uh, people just coming into this technology interested with it so yeah see you next time aloha <laughs> yep scared you <laughs> <laughs>